Welcome to Majitudes, guys. I'm very excited to talk to you about today's topic, which is how to use Canva for a print-on-demand website such as Redbubble. So I already prepared a couple of designs here in Canva that are ready to use on Redbubble. I would like to show you these designs first. So I'm just going to input here t-shirt because that's where I saved those designs. Okay, here I already have them open actually, so that will be a little bit quicker to load. So here you can see those designs that I created in Canva free um, to use for um, Redbubble. In fact, there's one very important thing that I need to tell you up front, which is you can only use Canva free items and elements to produce um, those graphics that later you're going to use on Redbubble because only the free items are commercially cleared for commercial use. So that means when you are here in your design on the left side, if you're going to elements where you will find most of the design elements that you're going to use for your um, design. Um, here you need to make sure that this filter here is actually set to free. And then you're going to apply that filter. Like this, you can make sure that all the elements that you are using are actually um, cleared for commercial use. This is extremely important because um, I know it's not very intuitive, but actually if you are using Canva Pro and then you're going to use the Pro elements, they are not cleared for commercial use. So. Don't be mistaken, if you're on Canva Pro, you have to still make sure that you're only using the free elements that Canva offers. So here you can see a couple of my designs that I created. Um, plant lover, plant parent, my prickly friend. It's all about plants, as you can see. But it's pretty easy to create these kind of designs, which are very simple, but that's uh, often uh, what, you, what you're looking for when you create um, designs for, for a website um, or a service like Redbubble, because people like simple designs. Um, one more thing that is important is that when you create these kind of designs, uh, you should make sure that you are creating those designs in a um, in a format that is appropriate to use for uh, for Redbubble or any kind of design um, company. That basically means that you should um, always um, choose a very big size. So here. Yeah, the size that I chose here is, is pretty small. You see, it's like um, 1920 to 1080 pixels. So it's better if you actually choose a much bigger size or the biggest size that is possible in Canva. You will have to experiment with that a little bit. Um, however, don't worry if you chose like um, something smaller, um, just like I did here, you can always go inside of resize here and then you can just conveniently resize the size of your whole project. Well, if you already have like a couple of designs in there, if you're going to resize um, that, um, you will obviously have to rearrange the elements a little bit in some cases, but that's probably not going to be a big deal. But it's much better that from if you're from, from the beginning, make sure that you actually um, have the size right. Moreover, um, when you download the designs, make sure that you're actually um, downloading them here in PNG because that's the um, because that's the best um, option that you have here for for some high quality um, image. And also um, make sure that you are um, actually exporting them with a transparent background. Because if you're just going to export an image like this here, 
um, this white background will be exported as well, which obviously is not something that you want because uh, let's say on a t-shirt you want to have that without a um, white background obviously. So to do that you, you will need Canva Pro. And then if you do have Canva Pro just go to download and then you're choosing here transparent background uh, PNG only. And that will make sure that um, the background will not be exported. So if you don't have Canva Pro, if you only have Canva free, you can't really export um, your design with a transparent background at the moment. But don't worry, there are options. There are free options on the internet that you can use to um, export, uh, to still like remove the background later on. So you would go about downloading it with the background and then later you use a free online tool to remove the background. Picture transparent online. I don't remember the name at the moment, but yeah, Lunapic, you can use Lunapic. So after you downloaded your pic, uh, your design with Canva free, just head over to lunapic.com here, upload your picture with the background, and then you can easily remove the background. Let me just quickly show you how you actually use Lunapic and how you can successfully remove the background for your Canva graphics if you're using Canva free. So I'm just going to upload the file here that I already exported um, from Canva and prepared here. It's called houseplants.png. I'm just going to open that up here to show you guys how that works. Um, you see that this file here has a white background still. And now to remove that background, all you have to do is actually click here on transparent and the mat the background magically disappears. So now you have your perfect logo in a transparent PIG uh, format. All you need to do now is to download that from Lunapic and you are ready to go and you can use those graphics uh, in Redbubble. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. And in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I hope you guys will have a great day. Bye.